morning everyone welcome to video 45 heaven at 19 percent today is friday the 19th of july 2019 and here in los angeles it's 8 54 p.m um, i'm going to try and speak a little louder and slower and uh yeah i'm learning little by little to uh, kind of refine the video if i can here and there so, uh, yeah, today we're discovering heaven again. Every day heaven is here and there's a new, uh, a new uh, facet of heaven opening unto us every single day. So there's 365 days in the year, there's four seasons, there's uh, 50, 12 months, there's 52 weeks. And every one of, every portion has its own feature, special feature. I suppose but the main one is we are brothers and sisters the children of God of true love and one family and uh, yeah so welcome I hope you're having a good day hope your day went well if it's evening or if you got a lot of wonderful exciting things planned today and uh, if it's in the morning and uh, very happy you could uh, at least take a glimpse at this video so let's find out what heaven has in store for us for video 45 heaven at 19 percent today I worked on uh, building a deck uh, yeah where there used to be a deck there but uh, we just the old one fell down and we did we tore tore it down it was kind of in the halfway falling down <laughs> And now we're building another one. And then, uh, anyway, so that's fun. So, uh, let's see. What wonderful, exciting, and beautiful things. I watched a video today, it was kind of interesting, about a guy. I watched this uh, channel on YouTube called Hyper Change. And he's, he follows the market, and he's really, uh, he likes Tesla, and he likes SpaceX, and he likes, uh, um, uh, neural net, neural link, neural link, which is uh, um, Elon Musk's new company. He just had last week. He just had a, or maybe this week, he just had a uh, uh, a conference which he invited some people from, and it uh, the main purpose of it actually is to recruit young people to uh, work with him on neural net. And what it is, they've designed a machine which will plant little tiny wires uh, inside the brain. And it will sense, using feedback, it, a person can learn how to program. Uh, and, and actually, the, the, the initial purpose of it is to help people with brain damage or uh, maybe the, that don't have the use of their limbs to be able to uh, uh, um, make, control the computer like uh, like a computer mouse and a cell phone I think those are the, and the keyboard I think those are the, the main things they're working on right now is so that yeah. and then of course uh, and then as anyone they want to make a product where anyone can have this small thing plugged in and you, it's a little thing goes behind your ear and you just unplug it when you're when you're not you know if you want to disconnect and what it does is it wirelessly that little thing is a wireless connection and it will um, allow people to monitor uh, it will be some odd hundreds of wires through these uh, uh, little terminals inside the uh, the chip it's about the size of a penny or less and it gets put in it's a it's like a it, it doesn't take major surgery to to ins to insert it it's just a you know like a, a outpatient surgery and or a one-day surgery and a person goes home at night and then what they can do is um, it will allow them to in interact with things without uh, 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 without typing them or uh, stuff like that so they're just and a lot of it is training of course right now is to find out is to uh, is to increase the data of the units and the reason I guess like the like I see now 
uh, the reason he probably wants to get these units out there inside people is so that he can collect data very very quickly because it's just like his electric cars you know he's going by the end of the year he's going to have a million uh, cars that he can draw from that are uh, training how to use the roads because the people that drive those cars are training the computer and the computer you know they have you'd have to watch the video to see how they make a fully self-driving computer it's amazing and they're very successful it's getting better and better and it, it just gets you know it's so much safer than a human being and uh, anyway because they have 12 cameras and you know a human being only can look uh, it's only just like one camera and it's it's just slow one at that <laughs> but anyway uh, so it's very interesting so uh, hyper change so I was watching that video uh, because he was invited to go to see the uh, the, the uh, uh, conference the presentation on the uh, neural link machine that implants these things it's a automated surgery and then uh, the technology of, uh, of how, how it all works so far what they've got so far and uh, anyway so that was interesting and uh, oh <laughs> yeah the reason I brought it up is because he had another guy on I guess yesterday because I watched the video it came out today and, uh, uh, he was, uh, there was a guy on that, uh, cleans out, cleans what's called, uh, uh, it's not seaweed, it's like, uh, fresh water equal to seaweed. It's not seaweed, though. What do they call it? Seaweed includes a lot of different kinds of sea growth, and the name of this one does, too. I don't remember it, because it's the first time I heard that word. Anyway, um... So the guy has a company in something King, something King, oh King, and then whatever that word is, because what he does is he cleans it out, and what it does, you know, the uh, fresh water can get clogged, and it dies off in the winter, but it, when it dies off, it goes to the bottom, and then it starts coating, it starts raising the, the bottom of the, uh, the body of water, whether it's a lake or a uh, waterway, of some kind or a pond or some, whatever uh, then that has to be cleaned out too so anyway it's a story about how he started uh, cleaning out uh, cleaning this stuff out of the water and now it's in and now it includes more of he's got professional divers that uh, you know they're talking about uh, making uh, habitats for nature natural have restoring natural habitats and protecting the, one of these uh, uh, turtles that, that uh, is becoming extinct if they're not careful and then he said uh, to keep the, the, the divers busy because it's only in the summertime uh, what he'll do is he's developing other businesses having to do with the water um, and uh, like taking care of boats or uh, you know making uh, keeping the water clean because a lot apparently a lot of uh, ponds and uh, yeah, for commercial properties that, like apartments and housing developments and golf courses and uh, you know any large hospitals they all uh, the pond actually is used it's kind of a catch basin for all the water in the whole place so uh, they're figuring out that also uh, for example that they can use this stuff that they clean this green growth not algae that's another one they're talking about is removing algae but this one is a is a plant and uh, it, you know if it's around the boats it, you know, the boats can't you know you can't can't use the water you can't swim in it if it has this this water you know, this green plant growing in it you can't swim in it you can't use your boat you, you know it's, it uh, anyway so um, yeah so uh, so what they're doing now is they're learning how to uh, oh and they, they found a use for the for the uh, for this freshwater uh, growth green this freshwater green plant it grows in the summertime and they bag it up and you get tons and tons of it and uh, they're finding now that it makes a great uh, uh, oh you put it on your garden it makes a very good mulch it's very healthy for the soil so, uh, anyway, yeah.
it's it's about how he's growing his business over the years and he said he just he just made it full time it used to be uh, just summer times and uh, anyway so that was interesting uh, so this guy Hyper, hyperchange he follows some very interesting companies like a company that makes heat pumps and uh, it saves people money by the what they do is they drill a hole and then they put pipe in it and then the, the house is heated and heated in the winter and warmed in the summer by the by the air that goes through that pipe inside the ground because the ground is a great heat sink or it's a great heat mass and uh yeah so uh yeah so that was interesting so let's see heaven is coming heaven is coming by the end of the year and oh you know what today I discovered something. I went to get a drink of water, right? And I got a drink of water, nice cold ice water. And then afterwards, I felt like this was a bad thing to do. You know, it was, it was a bad condition. So, you know, anything can be used as a condition. God can use a condition in a, you know, that we do something that we, you know, and it usually has something to do with compromising the comfort of the body, sleeping or not sleeping or not eating or, uh, or exercising extra, or I mean, you know, somehow doing something physical, and um, and at first I felt this feeling like, you know, God doesn't want me to to drink, so yeah, you know, and I, it made me angry, and I was realizing that that's what happens. It's so prevalent that we leave God, that we want to do something uh, for ourselves. And, and uh, we don't, since we don't understand that, we, that you know, there's, a, there's a, an emergency happening on earth. There's a great tragedy that we can solve by aligning ourselves with God and doing even little small things to keep God's family strong, to keep God's, uh, God's providence in motion, to keep goodness on the up and up as fast as it can grow. And uh, and so I just felt like, you know, I got that feeling, and uh, that's probably what happens to people as they grow up in this world, is that um, they just feel like, like, I don't know, we're, we're just trained by the devil so well, we forget how what it feels like to take care of God, and to say no to things that can make give us physical comfort or you know or, you know sleep and eating and um you know relaxing and you know uh so so anyway it was just a little insight there on you know and i so hearing myself watching myself go through that i just felt a little bit more how god might feel uh watching his children, you know, become possessed by, by evil. We're, we're so, we're so ingrained, evil is so ingrained in us from an early age and from our, ans from our ancestors even, um, from, the, from our blood maybe, but from the influence of our ancestors uh, who wish to resurrect. That's what I've heard, that uh, our ancestors in the spirit will come to us because they wish to resurrect and they can't do it without a physical body so they come and they want to help us uh help us resurrect so they can resurrect because if they help us resurrect then they get resurrection as well they get spiritual growth so um but when they come around us we necessarily feel their feelings and so that's what happens to us uh, that's how uh, uh you know frustration or any kind of evil uh influence uh can get can get into us is because we have our ancestors are helped only by coming with us and that is our goal we wish to live for our ancestors and help them but it's not always i mean they have had difficulties they have had any number of difficulties and so god is giving us god is giving us a path so that we can go forward through our spiritual development 
and and uh, and we we, we uh, more and more hopefully we stay true to the path we stay uh, focused on on what we need to stay focused on and not compromise somehow uh, like I said even taking a drink of water whatever it is any small thing God can use these little things and it's just something it's such a small condition it's such a small condition for us to but when we're willing to do it we say you know what God I know there's so many people suffering it's just it's just seemingly impossible to cure but I know you have a plan and I know you have you have a plan for all mankind to be healed and to be in oneness with true love and you, and your, your true love and our families then uh, that helps that helps a lot so that was that was only a couple hours ago at work maybe a few hours ago at the most anyway so today is Friday night Friday the 40 day video 45 heaven at 19 percent and, uh, what other wonderful things can we cover? Maybe I'll call it, that's the end. <gasps> oh, excuse me, oh my goodness. I, t I was trying to yawn earlier. If for some reason I, anyway, whatever. Um, what else? Uh, so heaven is coming. Heaven is definitely coming. Every day it becomes a little more clear how heaven will be. So we'll understand goodness from all aspects from God's point of view. We'll understand how everyone is good and how to love them, how to love everyone. That's a really wonderful talent, uh, a wonderful feature of a, someone's character is the ability to... Oh wow, I fell asleep. Yikes. Okay. I got I guess I better end the video. You don't need to watch me sleeping. Okay, that's it. Video forty five. That was a quickie. What was that? Seventeen thirty five. Oops. Seventeen thirty four is our special second, so pretty close. We're only one second late. So uh good to see you. And I hope uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And please take care. And thanks for sharing your time here. And the visit. Thanks for the vi visit to the video. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll be video 46. Heaven at 20%. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Take care. Have a good one.